when my mom was leaving, it was for me, it was like, yes, she leaving because I stayed in trouble. I constantly got toe up. <laughs> One of the best moments in my life was when I got the job as a nurse's aide and I was 16. And once I got that job, I knew that I was going to be out of the homeless shelter. Me and my kid was going to be okay. It's got banana and quinoa on it, y'all. This is too healthy for me. It's tough. This is a health night. <laughs>
I could feel her trying to stay calm, but really can't. And she knows spirit God. I'm gonna make sure I don't do too much that's gonna cause me me to act up too much because I gotta get through my day. The wind is blowing out there and it's hot. How is the wind blowing so beautifully and it's hot? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go find this clean juice. Uh, trying to think, how, how do I get back there? I don't know. How did I find it the first time? <laughs> to be going to places and I can never like really pinpoint where they be. I just be seeing them and I try to memorize where they at. If I was in a different direction, I probably can figure it out, but right now I feel lost. So I ain't, I'm going to put on the GPS and I'll talk to y'all when I get there. But Spirit about to get her something good and healthy to drink. I, I'm tempted to get the beet juice again because I feel like I need that. I feel like I seriously need... Um, I didn't get this chain clean. I didn't get this hair off of this thing, but I don't know. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to take it in and get it clean. But... Um, yeah, I need, I, I definitely need some beet juice, but I don't want beet juice. Even though it was good, it was good. I, I think I want something, it, the, I, I can't really expect nothing too, too sweet because they, everything is organic and naturally sweet, you know. So once you start adding water to it, it dilutes, you know what I mean? And tastes healthy. But I feel like that's what I need right now to get my energy popping. I pay attention, y'all. Uh, I, I don't know what be going, it be so many cars. They drive so fast in a parking lot. And that's one thing I taught my kids when I taught them how to drive. I always told them, whatever you do, do not drive fast in the parking lot. I'm going to tell you something. Anything happen in the parking lot, it's the other person's fault. Because spirit don't drive fast or act crazy in a parking lot. It's not a road. It's not a street. It's not a, you know, highway. It's a parking lot where people walk, kids shoot out of nowhere. Um, people backing out, people pulling in. You got to be careful in a parking lot. And I always tell my kids, please, even, I know they're grown, but please, please, whatever you do, drive slow in a parking lot. You know what I mean? Because even when we was on our way here, like twice, I think, riding in the parking lot, people were pulling out. And I was just like, oh, my God, like, we, like, just missing them. You know what I mean? So, but, yeah, I'm going to hit this highway, y'all, and I'll talk to y'all when I get to clean juice. Oh, they got wraps. The menu has something on it a couple of things that I could get I'm really excited about uh, lunch right now but it's gonna be like lunch and breakfast and dinner for me and Nadine pretty much well not really I had Sonic yesterday and I didn't eat it all but I never went back for it because when I went to bed yeah I messed up I was supposed to release the Sonic video last night but I don't even remember anything all I remember is getting in the bed and I was supposed to get myself comfortable Grab my phone, see what's going on, check out Instagram, and then um, release the video, and then watch the boys. I woke up this morning, the sun was shining, okay? Shining. And I was just like, I am the natural freak. Oh my God, they didn't go get me. They didn't go say, they didn't tell me, she said, Mom, I'm not helping you move all this stuff around. And, and you you forget to release the video. Yeah, I did. Nadine told me she was going to bed and she wasn't coming back. I completely, I completely went out. Like, I, God put me, God put me out. But he knew that I was going to need my energy today. He knew it. It took everything in me like I'm really pushing with everything in me to like be okay like even though my mind is sharp my body's weak today and it was very weak last night ah <sighs> yeah so I got up this morning took me a nice shower it took me forever to take my shower I was in just oh agony agony pain finally took a shower I felt like my whole body was just like in pain you know what I mean and when I got out of the shower I got dressed I was gonna wear something else but child, when I saw this dress, I was like, ooh, I'm just gonna slip that on. I ain't gotta do a lot, I ain't gotta do a lot of tucking, pull them, I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna make it way to the car, I'm gonna go to the doctor and everything gonna be all right. I don't even know how to put it. Like, I don't know how to put it, I don't know, like, it's like, 
good and not good news, you know. But um, I feel very hopeful. So that feels good. I feel like one of these days, Spirit will be back to herself and everything going to be all right, you know. Uh, I got a good team of doctors, so I'm feeling good about that. I feel good. I got a good team of doctors. Like, I feel like Spirit going to be okay. I'm probably going to be better than I was before all of this and the incident happened to me. You know what I mean? I'm going to be like, great. I just know it. I wish I could tell y'all that they found an antidote for turning me back to 25. <laughs> and I tell you, I'm about to show the freak out for y'all. But, you know. <laughs> but even at 25, y'all, I was so much of, when I think about myself when I was 25, I wish I could go back and say, girl, lighten up. Lighten up. You're too freaking serious about life. I was so serious about life. I was a mom and I was, uh, was I a business owner when I was 25? I wasn't a business owner yet. Um, I was I was doing stuff, selling stuff, you know, like my whatever I created. I did a lot of like silk stuff, and I was a truck driver. But I was so serious about life. I was a, a tax preparer, and I did people taxes. So I had to like, girl, I had to stay in business mode, okay, business mode. So I did. And now on that I'm older, I'm like, dang, if I could be 25 again, uh, half of that stuff I would not have been doing. I would have just work and, and and focus on my kids like just be a mom you know what I mean because but I'm gonna tell you I got my enjoyment in from being a mom I did I, I enjoyed my kids to the most I did I got most of it in uh unfortunately I you know my oldest daughter left home she did and it kind of like it 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 kind of shattered me a little bit well a lot it did I ain't gonna lie to you I was hurt I, I, was, I was looking for that girl. I was trying to bring her back home because I felt like I want my family to grow old with me. I want all my kids to be with me. That's how I felt back in the day. I was not going to ever, ever, ever be in a position where I give up on one of my kids. You know what I mean? Like, my kids meant everything to me. But now that they're adults, uh, I only can do what they allow me to do. Like, don't, if they want me, in my, want me in their life, then they will allow me to be in their life. They don't, then I have to be okay with that and still go on but how did i get on the subject i don't know but let's just let's just forget i don't know how i even got here y'all but anyway i'm feeling good about my juice i got me let me tell you what i got i got a u for one it's got blueberry coconut banana almond butter and vanilla i'm excited to taste it and i got a shot of elderberry because spirit needs some energy okay and then i got a veggie wrap for Nadine, a veggie wrap for myself, and I got an almond butter toast that I can eat right now because I'm, I think I'm gonna eat my veggie wrap with y'all. You know, it depends on how I look. It depends. I'm gonna see which one. I don't know. I'm so hungry, girl. Ooh, I might just pull over and just. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I feel like everything gonna be okay. I'm a little nervous now because of the procedures and stuff that I gotta go through, but I feel like after everything that I go through, some time pass. Your girl gonna be feeling better. That's what I'm hoping. Ooh, but I've been praying and talking to God, and He haven't showed me like a vision that I'm gonna be a one. But I do feel the comfort of love around God around me, telling me like He got this. Like you ain't got nothing to worry about it. Whatever happened, I'm gonna guide you, and you're gonna be okay. And you got my best and greatest angel in the world. You got Nadine. <laughs> So you're going to be okay. I got Nadine. Nadine's right here to make sure that I'm going to be okay. And thank God she loved me so much. You know what I'm saying? And thank God. Because, I don't know. I, I would hate to think that I would have to go through all this by myself. You know. And I feel like my son will, um, will be there if he know that Nadine absolutely cannot be here. Then he will be there for me. And then I can't really, I don't want to put myself in a position where I have to like, bother my son because he got like he got things going on he got his career he's doing his own thing and i just thank god i got nadine i thank god that that nadine did choose me choose to be around me and choose to like she i feel like she loved me so much that it's not like a chore or a duty she just she here to support me because i can do it on my own i know I, if i didn't have my kids god know that i would have made it through this world even without them but the fact that i have them it's like the cherry on top, like the cherry is the best. I'm, I'm thank God for my kids. Why am I keep talking about my kids? I need to get off that subject. Yeah, 
One of my spirit lights says, Spirit, can you tell us about some happy times? Instead of all like all the sad times you ever been through, can you tell us about of like a really good moment? Only I feel like all my happy, real happy moments, sad and happy at the same time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all three, okay? One of the best moments in my life was when I got the job as a nurse's aide and I was 16. And once I got that job, I knew that I was gonna be out of the homeless shelter. Me and my kid was gonna be okay. Here you go, man. Thank you. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Thank you. Oh, they look good, they do. The almond? Okay. Oh, and the raspberry. Okay. Okay, y'all. My food is here. I'm going to look at it. Ooh. Okay, this. Oh, no. It's got banana and quinoa on it, y'all. This is too healthy for me. It's tough. This is a health night. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm showing it to y'all. Okay, there you go. Wait, wait. I'm going to give Nadine one. I'm going to give Nadine one. I'm going to put some sanitizer on my hand, and then we're going to eat one. I'm going to pull over in the parking lot, y'all. I'm going to enjoy this together. Um, I've never really been a fan of quinoa. I tried. I did, I did cook it a couple of times pretty good. And I tried to think of it as rice or grits. But for some reason, I can't get with it. I don't know. I can't get with it. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again because it's so good for you. Quinoa is so, so good for you, y'all. I mean, for it's like weight loss, energy, um, health. Quinoa is like better, like... Without the grits, like you could take and turn quinoa into grits or you could turn it into um, rice. Now, speaking of that, I need to do that because I have to eat eat pretty good for the rest of the week, y'all. For the rest of the week, I have to eat pretty good because of um, the procedure I'm going to go through. So, I don't need to be all broken down more than what I am. So, I'm going to try to eat good. I'm going to try. But, yeah, I'm going to try my smoothie. I'm going to try my smoothie, y'all. Nadine's drink look good. She, look, she got, she got hers called the, what is it called, anything? It's called something of one. Um, I can't, hydrating one. So her drink is called hydrating one. She got watermelon, something else, and mint. I don't know if it's banana. What was it, anything? I think it's pineapple. She got pineapple. Okay, and I have everything I told y'all I have. And it's called the youthful one, see? It's right there. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's go have a sip of this smoothie. Ah. Uh. Ooh, nice parking lot. I am gonna park. I could park, like they got parking lot everywhere, but I'm gonna park right here just because I'm not staying. I just want to taste my food and then I want to get on a road because I think I gotta go. I gotta go to uh, Walgreens and get me some towel and all. Okay, y'all, so let me give Nadine one of these. <laughs> I want her to try it first. I'm always trying stuff first, but I want her to try it first. The quinoa is really thick. And the veggie rat looks small. Child. I meant to get my receipt. Should I go back? Should I go back? Yeah, I need my receipt. Yeah. You taste it while I go back. So I gotta go all the way back around anyway, y'all. I gotta get my receipt because um I had an incident where I paid for something, they told me how much it was. Can I go through here? Oh, no, 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 I can't go through there. Okay, and child, they went, they charged me more than what they were supposed to. And I was just like, no, not here, not clean juice. It was a different place. I'm just saying, in general, they charged me more than what they were supposed to. And you just get your receipt, y'all. Because times are rough and times are hard. People... You don't think they'll do stuff, but stuff happens. I told y'all I got to talk to y'all. I got to tell y'all. Y'all, um, with all this bad stuff that happened recently, I forgot my receipt. I'm coming back to get it. 
Okay, I don't know what he said. Anyway. I can't understand his speaker. Bye. Thank you. I feel like he didn't want to give me a receipt, but you know, because it's paper, it's like extra stuff they got to do. But child, let me. Oh my God. What the? $48? Two juices is twenty dollars. Two wraps. They grab the size. Yeah, forty-eight dollars. Okay, that's it. Open what? Uh, Diamond, are you squeaking? Oh, it must be a bird or something. Okay, let me chill out for a second. They think how it tastes. It's not bad. Do it taste too healthy, like quinoa? No, tastes good. Oh wow, okay. They didn't say it tastes good. Let me eat my stuff then. Okay. I don't know. Stuff be making me nervous, man. When when I saw quinoa, no, this is not quinoa, this is almond butter. Let me say almond butter. And I think it's quinoa. Quinoa, almond butter. Anyway, I, I don't know. I didn't imagine it to be like this. It kind of reminds me of peanut butter, maybe. That's what it looked like. What it tastes like to you? I don't know why the camera's so dark, y'all. Hold on. I don't know why the camera get dark like that. It be doing stuff. Okay. There you go. I'm scared to like show y'all too much. I don't want to fall. I already had a couple of bananas fall off and the honey fall off. So there we go. Oh wow. You know what it is? Instead of peanut butter, it's almond butter. Like peanut butter? Oh wow. That's interesting. Oh man. Mmm. Yeah, it's thick too. You can make your own. And this is delicious, y'all. And the, and the, I like the bananas because the bananas are not ripe. You know what I mean? But but perfect. Oh my god. Mmm. I'm gonna have to do a video for y'all one day. I'm thinking about the sound. Like my mouth. It's getting stuck together. Like right, bring your budget down. Well, I feel like the sounds would be great for people who like that sound. Mmm. And then the crisp. Mmm. 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 You know what I feel? It's satisfying. Mm-hmm. It feels so satisfying going in your stomach. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Somebody like gotta be careful. Being quick to judge. Mm-hmm. I never had almond butter in my life. That's really good. Like a burrito. They didn't say nothing. Oh, my God. She ain't saying nothing. Oh, it's quinoa in this. It's quinoa in the back. I don't know why I was thinking vegetables and lettuce. It's like a veggie burrito. This is so good. I'm definitely going to do this for y'all. I never thought I'd be scraping the bottom of the barrel. Mm. It's healthy and delicious. Oh my God. What the freak? Mm. That was so satisfying.
Oh, my God. But I'm not rich. That was expensive. Mm. Mm. That was good. I had to take all my, my Rihanna lip gloss off, y'all. But I feel like now I need to brush my teeth. I wish I had my toothbrush with me. Mm. Eating that. Let me try my drink. But yeah, I love that Rihanna lip gloss, Doug. I got the glass stuff for y'all. And not that I'm biased, but I'm telling you, she did her thing with this. This right here is the bomb. Healthy as freak. Healthy as freak. When I tell you it's healthy. But um, I feel good about it. Obviously, I like them, and it's my second time back. But I have to make sure I got some money, y'all. So make sure y'all y'all like. Comment and subscribe. Make sure y'all supporting your girl spirit. Look at me. I'm already opening up the wrap. And I said I was going to take it home and eat it for y'all. But now I'm thinking about the Nadine. And she ain't doing a whole bunch of mmm and ah and all that. Look. This is what it look like. I'm going to eat my ass ASMR. I hope it brings good sounds. Because that's what it's about. If you don't bring the sounds with you, what you here for. Why are you here? You want to bring the sounds with you? I'm headed on down the road. Down the road. Is it easy on down the road? Ease on down the road. Mm. Child. Ain't no sugar, no sweetener. Let me tell you something. I think it's that. Uh. <laughs> he started up his truck. Yeah, that thing was out. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm telling y'all. Well, I get used to that. We're eating that way. Your girl gonna be little. <laughs> or maybe just delicious, like tone and all that. Mm. That's how I meet the right person. One day. All right, y'all. <sighs> Talk to you in a little bit. More punk is growing on the leaf, don't it? I never saw that before. Wow, oh, that's interesting. Y'all know I ain't no good at that chicken leg. Yeah, my juice too freaking healthy. Too healthy. I love it though, but I'm hungry. I, I, Chad, that food made me feel even more hungry. I still got my breath. When they did say it's more avocado and quinoa, it's like, it's, it's not what I thought. When I, when I, when I got a veggie wrap, I thought, I thought it was going to be like, Y'all know what I, a child, I was not expecting that. But Nadine said it's a new way of eating. It's eating clean. So, yeah, I need some fries. So that's why I'm at Chick fil A. And I'm waiting on somebody to get up here and order my fries and then I'm hit the road. <laughs> I keep saying I'm hit the road, y'all. I'll talk to y'all a little bit. Oh, why does Chick fil A got all these peaches around? Oh, the peach ice cream. Oh, darn, I can't have a peach cone or anything. Shoot. Too bad for spirit. No, no, no. We we're gonna do this together. Hopefully, y'all can see my cone. Look at this. This is gonna be my first Chick Fil A ice cream cone. Can you believe it? It's my first cone, y'all. Where's it say? It's, it's a sweet. Oh, that cute. It's so sweet. It looks so cute. It says eat it all. I know that's why right. Chick Fil A about to tear it up. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that! So cute. Mmm. 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 That's so good. Mmm. God, why is ice cream so good? Mmm. How's your shake, Nadine? She just says, you can't say nothing. Mmm. <laughs> Now look at my big ice water. Mmm. Nice hot fries. Mmm. I'm going to sit here. I'll give it a watch. My coloring video that I did. I did the stickies. 
And that's gonna be for ASMR video. Mm. I see a lot of people liked it, the covering video. So I'm gonna sit back and enjoy it myself. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Can't promise tomorrow But you're gonna feel out of day 
Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Spirit of Lights. Hi, welcome back to ASMR with you. I'm your girl, Spirit. Now, welcome to the vlog. I hope you're enjoying the vlog. I started out telling y'all um, that a Spirit of Light wanted me to talk about some of my happiest moments or my best moments because I guess since I started my channel, I talk about my life and a lot of it is very, I would say very sad. Just a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, just a tough pill to swallow. Most of it. Yeah. So I can understand that every time they watch my story time, it just seems seems like so much um, sadness. So they asked me to talk about happy times. And I'm thinking like, it, it took me a minute to get here. Because at first I was like, hmm. I don't even know if I can do something like that because when I think about the happy times in my life, there's usually a sad moment attached to it or something tragic done happened or something done happened that was just unbelievably shocking. I don't know. It took me a minute to get here, but I said, okay, I would do it. But what happened was in the vlog, I got so distracted when I started to to really get there and start talking about it, I think I was just wrapped up inside of how the almond butter toast tastes that I just, it just went out my head. Oh, wow. And then when I got to Chick-fil-A, I was going to talk about it then. I was gonna talk about it then, and then my camera died. And trying to use the iPhone, in, it's not working out for me right now. <laughs> me and the iPhone is trying to get to know each other and it, it's going real slow. The relationship is moving really, really slow, but we're making a little tiny progress here and there. I am going to try to talk about some happiest moments in my life and I'm going to try to go back. I'm, I'm going to go way back and try to work my way up and maybe my brain will help me remember some of the happiest moments in my life. And I'm, I'm doing this like raw, like no, no thinking about it. No trying to write it down, jot it down. I'm just going off based off of whatever memory that I can get out right now. I mean, <laughs> good luck with that spirit. <laughs> good luck, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna seriously try. Okay, so, <laughs> so like silly sometimes. Stuff is just funny to me. Like even trying to think about happier moments in my life is funny because it's like not that many. It's like very little. So I gotta really think like, okay. So going back, I think that one of the happiest times that I had was whenever I seen my grandmother. There was like this one moment where she was waiting at the door when we got off the elevator in a building and I went running as fast as I could. And when she opened up the door, she picked me up, she grabbed me and she hugged me. And I still, I think about that moment kind of a lot, like always, like that's, that's one of my moments that ground me, that, that makes me feel love that makes me remember that I was love when I'm feeling low. I love that moment. I was such a little kid. I was such a little kid. I was so young. And just that moment of running to my grandmother was really, really nice. And, it's, and I think that moment stick in my head because here we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. But I, I gotta be real with you. Most moments have something attached to it. But it was one of the moments before my grandmother passed away. And I didn't know she was gonna pass away during at that time, like so like right right after I visit her, you know, and spent time with her. That would be the last time I saw my grandmother. And that's the one of my happiest moments, like just running up to her and she picking me up and just holding me and squeezing me. And I think it's just in my head because that was one of my last moments of happy moments with my grandmother. After that, it was just sad. Let's not get stuck on the sad. Just let me keep it moving. <laughs> happy moment for me is when my mother brought my baby sister home. Uh, this was my 
Well, yeah, my third baby sister, because the other one wasn't here yet, and she was by another mother, okay? So this is my, I'm talking about my baby sister that was by, that, that my mom had. And it was so, it was so weird for me because me and my sisters are brown skin on the dark skin side. And when my mother brought this baby home, she was so, well, as a little kid, she, I thought she was white. <laughs> and when I saw her, I was like, ah. I was so shocked. I was shocked. But she was so pretty and peaceful until she started hollering. I remember her just hollering and my mom said, don't touch the baby. Don't mess with the baby. A new baby home, they always slept like in the middle drawer. Like she'll pull a drawer out and make it like a, a bed, like a not a basket, but not a crib, but you know, put the little softness in there and she lay the baby in there. And we just go up to the little dresser and we just like, we get to enjoy the baby, but we couldn't touch her. That was like one of my best moments when I met my baby sister. I had like a special space in my heart for my baby sister growing up. She was just, she was just everything to me. I really just cared about her a lot as a little kid. I probably shouldn't have cared about her that much. My mother left me as the oldest to take care of my sisters and them when she was gone. And for some reason, I absolutely loved it. Why did I love taking care of my sisters when my mother left? And she freaking, here we go with the sadness. I won't try my best not to be sad. My mom would go off, y'all. <laughs> and she wouldn't come back. She wouldn't come, she wouldn't come back for not just a day or two, a week. She would not come back home. Okay, and she would leave me with my sisters and them, and then that was my chance to be mom. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Like I remember my mom leaving me as early as, you know, four or five years old, six, seven, eight, and now I'm mom. I'm at. I'm. I'm the one in charge. I'm the one gets to decide when we gonna eat, what we gonna wear, how I gonna do their hair, when we gonna go outside. You know what we're gonna watch on TV? I was mom. Like I was the boss, okay? <laughs> like when she was leaving, for some reason, when my mom was uh, getting all dressed up and all cute and she said she was leaving, that didn't make me sad at all. Like she, when she was leaving, she was just leaving. Yes, she leaving because I stayed in trouble. I constantly got toe up. <laughs> <laughs> I constantly was just in trouble all the time. And so when she said that, look, you in charge, this is what you need to do, da 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 da, don't answer the door, don't answer the phone, don't call nobody, don't do this, don't do that, and all this other stuff. And if anything happened, when I get back, you're going to be the one to get the beating for it. You're going to be the one. So I knew like, look, she leaving. Okay. She is leaving and now she's gone. I'm the boss. Collectively as sisters were like kind of bad. <laughs> but to me, I felt like I had good sisters because when I told them to sit down, they sat down. When um, we played, uh, they listened to me. When I told them to clean, they cleaned. They let me do their hair. I was able to get them dressed. I was able to take them to school. The only one I pretty much had a little hard time with was my baby sister because um, as long as I was kind of, you know, carrying her around, she didn't cry. And she was huge. I, I was a little bitty thing and I was carrying this big old baby. She was a big baby. I was always carrying her. And as long as I was holding her, she didn't cry. <laughs> and then she got so big, I started putting her on my back and she would just hold on to me like this and her legs around me. And I just walk around with her on my back, you know? <laughs> 
why was I taking care of this big baby? I was just a little kid myself. Um, those was one of the happiest times when my mother would leave and leave me in charge. I don't know, that made me feel real happy. Couldn't babysit my sisters and them. I enjoyed my dolls. I had so many dolls, so many toys when I was a kid. Like, I loved it. As I go, that I could think of some of my happiest times. Okay, one of my happiest times for me and my friends would join the talent show in school. And we would come up with dances together. Oh my God, I really loved that. It made me so freaking happy. The I think the other thing that was very exciting for me was graduating high school. That was one of my happiest times, even though it, it was it, it was kind of hurtful to hear all of the cheers for everybody walking across the stage and there was no one there to cheer for me. Not no one. <laughs> across the stage, I can hear like my friends and my teachers, you know, that I had different teachers um, going to high school. I can hear them cheer for me. So that that was nice. I did invite uh, my mom. I invited my dad. I invited my sisters. I invited different people to show up for my graduation. And no one showed up. No one came. I celebrated my graduation by myself with my daughter at the time. Still, I was so freaking happy. I was like, girl, you finished. You did it. The best. Oh, oh my God. I got to go back. I used to love going to the park with my mom. She would take us to the park and just getting on the swings were so much fun. I used to be with my mom, her twin sister. She had all her kids. And my mom had all her kids. I think my tw my mom twin sister had like, is it five boys and one girl? And then my mom had five girls and one boy. Or is that right? Let me count. Me, Meanie, Silly, Crybaby. She had five girls and one boy, but she at the time she didn't have the uh, other sister because <laughs> this is like way back in the past. I have a sister that's in the young generation. I have four girls and you one boy at the time. <laughs> and my aunt had her kids and they were twins. They meet up at the park and we had crabs and we had watermelon. Oh my God, That I think that's the only time we went to the park. <laughs> my mother put crabs. We was not eating no crabs in her house and no watermelon. Oh my God, those were some of the absolute best times I had in my life, just being around my family in a, a group and just all my cousins. When I was a little kid, I absolutely love every single one of my cousins. I know all my cousins' names. I didn't get a chance to get to know them as they were adults. Um, I stopped getting to know my cousins by the time I was like 14, I think. That was it. Or maybe 13. Um, I saw one of my cousins a lot when I was in high school. And we was kind of drifting apart then because it was like I wasn't really a part of the family anymore. Those, that was one of my happiest times, just being around my mom, all my sisters and my mom's twin and all her kids. That was just like the best. When I think about that, that makes me smile because I had so much fun with my cousins and my uh, sisters. Oh my God, my life just has so much stuff that it's so hard to think about like stuff that really really made me happy meeting my first husband was one of my best moments I really liked him and when I met him it was just it was just love it like instantly like I knew like wow it was just an instant connection and it was just so smooth the way it happened like it just happened it was just every time I was around him every time I was with him I just felt so happy it ended tragic so I don't want to talk about that but <laughs> it ended tragic okay terrible terrible another moment that I can remember making me happy is not when I met my second husband but when he asked me to marry him it was just like it was just like wow that was like one of my best happiest moments ever and with that person I thought I was gonna be with him oh like I had like this epiphany this vision and I saw me and him grow old together so I don't even know it must have been on another dimension 
<laughs> I was so confident in that epiphany and that vision that I had no clue what every about anything else that was coming that would have made you know things the way they are today which we have been divorced for years and that was just terrible that was an awful divorce there's no such thing as nice divorce okay <laughs> One of my best moments when he asked me to marry him the day we got married the day we got married made me i was so happy i was so very happy i still remember Oh my God. Another one of my happiest moments is when <laughs> Nadine made me a card, y'all. All these coins in it. And she saved up all these quarters. So sweet. And I, I don't know why, but I had truly, truly loved that card. I'm going to have to wrap this up because my stomach's starting to growl. I think I'm hungry, so I'm going to have to eat. But I think she wanted to make sure that I felt like I always had money. And that same car saved us when we was homeless. I was able to use what she put in the car here and there for little stuff like oodles and noodles, Slurpee to get something to drink, to get gas. And some of the coins were a dollar bill. Like the coins weren't just a quarter. Like she had all kinds of coins inside of there. And that was like one of the, the moments. And I was just thinking like, wow, she's just such a little girl. She created this gift for me. Oh my God. Another happiest moment for me was seeing my son graduate from high school. Uh, seeing uh, him graduate for the Air Force. That was, that was like, wow, those was one of the happiest moments. I was just really proud, really, really proud. A happy moment for me was watching Nadine. She was in high school, y'all, and she went for her driving test. I think she started to, um, studying for her driving test when she was like 16. And when she got her license, I think it was just like, first when she got her permit, I was so freaking happy. You would have thought it was her license. She got her permit and then she got her license. I was so freaking proud of Nadine. She, <laughs> I was so, yeah, I was so freaking happy. I was so, so freaking happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just thinking about one of my happiest moments when Nadine took her first step y'all yeah. when she took her first step we was outside at the park i started jumping up and down i started dancing and i was clapping and laughing so hard that she was cracking up she didn't even know what i was i don't even know if she knew that i was just so happy she took her first step i was so freaking happy she was just cracking up the second time she was able to take like three steps but when she started like really stepping, she took off y'all. The Nadine was already walking at eight months old. <laughs> already walking. Oh my God. That was one of my happiest moments, seeing her take her first step. Let's see, let me see if I if anything else coming to me, y'all. Hey, y'all know my brain is 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 got a lot in there. So it's gotta and, and I had like a, a lot happen to me in my life. It's got to decipher through all that to try to find those happiest moments. And I'm, I'm taking out time. I'm doing this for you because you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> when my dad came to visit me. Yes. I was married and he came to visit me. Oh, something attached. So, you know, he stole my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> we don't cut that right there because I ain't going to go into it. But I was so freaking happy to see that man. That was one of my happiest moments to just see my father. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whew. That was a nice, a nice moment to see him. Oh my God. When I met, I met my baby sister, my, not my baby, baby sister, but years later, the, the baby sister that's in a new generation. When I met her right before Nadine was born, Nadine, I was, I was pregnant when I met her. So when I met my baby sister, that was one of my, oh my God. I was in such, I knew the word is peace, but I was just in so zoned out in peace when I met my baby sister. I thought she was such the cutest thing. It was just amazing holding her and I was on in my young 20s and I thought, wow, wow, I can't believe I got a sister, you know, this young, 
you know, and all my other sisters are older now, but it was, it was nice. I got to meet her as a newborn baby. And I thought that I was going to end up being really, really close to her. We was going to be close in that. I was so excited because my mom, mom made me feel like, you know, be a part of her growing up, you know? And then when I tried, it was like a shutout. So I, after that, I didn't see her again from a newborn baby. I didn't see her again till she was like, I think five or seven years old. I didn't see her again. And then I was able to keep her for the summer. And then I didn't see, no, see her no more until she was like grown. Like I'm talking about like maybe 19, like that, like grown like that. Maybe she was younger. I don't remember, but she was grown. So yeah, but that was my, my uh, one of my happiest moments, meeting her as a baby. I just, I just felt so in love with that baby. Oh my God, it was just like, wow, she's beautiful. That was one of my, one of my happiest moments. And and you know what? When I met her, my mom and father uh, hung out with me all day, they together. And I don't ever remember my mom and father being in the same room when, except for when I was a kid and he was coming to pick me up to take me to go see my grandmother. So it was nice having my mom and father hang out with me that day. And I got to hold my baby sister all day, all day. That was really, really nice. Yeah, that was a, that was a really nice movie. We was just downtown Newark. We was eating, went shopping together. We just hung out together. That was really, really nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. I'm searching in that head, y'all. I'm thinking. I'm about to tell y'all that's about it. <laughs> Did I tell y'all when I graduated from truck driving school? That was, oh, that was definitely one of my happiest moments when I got my first job as a bank teller. That just, that was just extraordinary for me. I was just excited about that because I feel like I enjoyed things in life and I met people and I went places and I did things, but they were just like, just life stuff. You know what I mean? And not something that just made me feel like, Whoa, wow, this, this makes me so happy. Seeing Nadine and Dream when I came out of surgery. I had two different surgeries. I had surgery before. For some reason, I don't attach a happy moment to that. Just seeing Nadine and Dream, oh my God. I was so happy to see them when I came out of surgery, when I came through. Those, it was just, I could just feel the joy. And, and no matter what we was going through at the time, I felt like we would be okay. I was back with my kids and my kids were like right here. They was holding me. They were so happy to see me. Now I'm going back to when I was a kid again, when I got my first candy apple. <laughs> Oh my God, it was just like a dream come true. It was so big. It probably wasn't that big, but I was so little. <laughs> the candy apple was just like, oh, oh my God, just going to the truck. Oh my God, always going to the ice cream truck as a kid. I was always excited, beyond excited. Oh my God, I still love going to the ice cream truck. As y'all get to know me, my OGs and my SOLs, Spirit of Lights, y'all know that as I talk and stuff that made, made me laugh or made me happy, if it come up, I tell y'all about it. One of the moments that made me happy, I bet you, you can't guess. You can't guess one of the moments I cracked the freak up. I yell, I scream, I jump up and down. I was so excited. It was when I went viral that I was, I was so freaking happy. <laughs> Viral. I thought it was so funny. I cracked up laughing. I think I laughed for days, y'all. I couldn't believe that I actually went viral. Then my face was just everywhere, okay? <laughs> it just hit me. I don't know why I had a flash of it. Whew, one of my best freaking moments of my life is when I met my grandbaby, Yu Yu. When I met my grandbaby, she was... Oh, she was such a doll. Oh, she was so little. She was so cute. That was one of my best moments when I met my my first grandbaby. It was extraordinary. My second grandbaby, they handed her to me in the delivery room. I was the first one to get to hold her. I took her out. I was the one holding her. So precious. That was one of my life greatest moments. Like I said, I would have to decipher through this brain. And as I talk, 
moments would come up and I'll remember some of my happiest moments. Just like when I end this video, I'm like, oh my God, that was one of my happiest moments and I didn't get to tell y'all. And then I'm going to forget to tell y'all when I say, oh, I'll tell y'all next time. I'm still going to forget. So I'm not... <laughs> thumbs up make sure you turn on your notification bell okay thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the vlog have a wonderful day afternoon and night and i will see you in the next one make sure you and you can also add to your playlist that way you can see it when you feel like it yeah and follow me on all my social medias beer girl is out